Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this game of Hearts of Iron 4. We are playing World Blaze, and war has been declared. Uh, Germany has invaded Poland successfully and is now attacking into France, and this time, this of course being the second time that we are trying this, actually building tanks. Huzzah! So Germany has realised that, you know what, there are, that the tanks might actually be fairly useful device to be using and they have been rolling with those tanks through France and Paris has just fallen. Meanwhile in the Mediterranean we are fighting a pretty rough naval war against Britain. They've got submarines and destroyers in the sea and so do we and there's a bit of a conflict going on between those. Ah, Discord, thank you. Getting distracted today. Too many other things going on. Alright, let's go post that up now. Stream notification... Live. Marvellous. <clears throat> okay. So, we have got quite a decent number of troops down here in Africa ready to face off against the Brits with their tanks. And we have a couple of our own as well to basically exploit any gaps as and when we see them. We are also attacking across into the Alps. This isn't so much to actually do damage to the French forces, and in fact we seem to be taking quite a few casualties in doing this. This is instead a pinning action to try and keep these French troops in that area to basically allow the Germans to exploit the openings. Uh, we are going to need to buy quite a lot more iron because our iron from Spain has been pretty much cut off. So let's cut that off for the moment, then we'll just go ahead and buy another 50 from Sweden. And we could also do with some rubber, although we have absolutely zero rubber. But our rubber supplies should start improving again once our refineries are up and running. Because we are working on that technologically. Meanwhile, we've got aeroplanes, we've got extraction tax, naval tax, and then of course the three doctrines. Okay, good, 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 good. Am I worried about the games cancelled by Paradox? No. Games are constantly being... Um, cancelled and we just had a change in management so it doesn't surprise me I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the strategic direction that Ebba and Fred had a falling out over like I don't know for sure like please don't take this as insider information I do not know um, but games are constantly being cancelled and I wouldn't be surprised if there were smaller more experimental titles just to kind of test the market and Fred's kind of gone no um, more interested in the core strategy stuff. Did they say that? No. Which is why this is entirely 100% speculation. So please don't take it as anything other than that. The Mabel games, not PC ones. That was never said, Kalinas. Just the games were cancelled. But I wouldn't be surprised if they were. Playing World of Blaze 2, on the German side of things, I must say that I love the... As much as I love the economic mechanic, I hate the all-steel mills are out when missing a single iron. Yeah, that's not the best system. Ooh. What do I need for this? Oh, just war support. Okay, we can probably do that. Anyway, um, so, there are a couple of fights going on up here which I would like to be a little bit more hands-on with their management. So you're attacking there, and I don't think you should be. I think you need to come down here, and I think you need to come down to, say, here. And then we can attack that province from two different angles. And then I'd also like to have a couple of probing attacks against these tanks. Oh, you can't attack from multiple directions. Um, you can, however. With their support, and let's get some sound going. There we go. Not going to work. Never mind. Right, the other thing I think I should do is I have quite a few aircraft who are currently not doing anything. So I want to grab these guys, put you in there on Naval Strike. These are tactical bombers. Give a hand in that region. And then these are close air support, which I think should be doing some close air support here in northern Italy. Okay, there we go. Ah, and you guys can attack across here and then take out Cors... not Corsica. Yeah, Corsica. We had a naval battle here. I lost a lot of frigates and destroyers. Good grief. Oh, it's because their service fleet appeared at some point. 
Yeah, okay. So my <laughs> transport fleets have just been eradicated. So my convoy escorting is not looking too healthy right now. So what am I producing in terms of shipping? Just submarines. Well, unfortunately, I think that's going to have to change to speakers. Speakers are escorts. Yeah, let's get like four of them up and running. And our submarine fleet is currently looking really, really healthy. So we'll cut down on the Brins and we'll change to destroyers instead. And we are going to need some more iron. Sweden. Make it happen. Industry wide naval rearmament has been removed because the prerequisites are no longer met. That's because we are at war. There we go. Meanwhile, we keep on hunting down their destroyers, but this does seem to be the area where the most action is taking place. So having our aircraft active there I think makes sense, although I think I will set one of you to the Ionian Basin. Like so. You lot are taking attrition again. Um, how about if we attack with you guys? Green. That's what I like to see. And then red again. Probably as the tanks arrive. Uh, those are still submarines. So are those. Okay. Meanwhile, France is suffering <laughs> quite a bit. And it looks like the French are fully abandoning this southern flank now. Which is awfully nice of them, I must say. I will gratefully take what they are offering. And push my forces forwards. Oh! Vichy has appeared. I think. There it is. The second armistice of Compen. An armistice between the German Reich and the French Third Republic has been signed at Compen. In, in the very railway carriage in which the German surrender of World War I was negotiated. Under the terms of the armistice, a French government under the... Uh, under somebody based in Vichy will continue to administer most of southern France while the rest of the country falls under German occupation. Some French officers have vowed to continue resistance from abroad and this puts an effective end to fighting in France. At least for the time being. And quite a few ships are being lost here. But I think that what we can now do... Oh, we are losing a lot of planes. Really? Yeah, we are. To what? They have no aircraft of their own here. Well, the Mediterranean is definitely an incredibly dangerous place at the moment. However, I think it's time for us to make the um, Atlantic a dangerous place. I want you to take Brittany. Then we'll turn the Atlantic into a dangerous place. Meanwhile, your attrition is increasing, probably because of a lack of transport getting through. Yeah, once those submarines are done, we'll be able to get another wave. France has capitulated. Alf Hitler has announced that the cowardly French nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces in the country. Um... This seems to be where the British High Seas Fleet is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of our aircraft and just stick you in the Straits of Sicily right now, hoping that we can catch and destroy the British Mediterranean Fleet. 
Roosevelt gives his Arsenal of Democracy speech. Today in the 16th Fireside Chat, Roosevelt urged the American people to realise the danger the Axis aggression means for the United States. Prompted by the fall of France and the isolation of Britain, FDR has urged the American people to realise that the Atlantic and the Pacific do not guarantee the safety of the United States, pointing out that many German bombers are already able to reach the USA. The most recognisable part of the speech was its defining sentence, in which Roosevelt stated, We must become the great arsenal of democracy. For us, this is an emergency as serious as war itself. While the US has been slowly abandoning isolationism for some time now, this is a definitive message to the Axis that America will surely defend its interests abroad, regardless of its prior neutrality. Well, in that case, I think that we should definitely be a bit more aggressive. So let's go ahead and tell you lot to head over to Brittany. British attack at Mers el Kabir. Yesterday, British naval units blockaded their French counterparts in important naval bases in North Africa, issuing an ultimatum for the French to sail to British ports immediately and surrender control of their fleet, or the British would fire upon their former ally. Upon the French rejection of the British demands, an exchange of gunfire took place that sank at least one battleship and severely damaged to survive a sizable portion of the French fleet. Mordred, quick question. Which case are rockets useful? In this mod you can get them as mechanised on supporter and front lines. Where should they be? <laughs> I don't know. The main advantage that I see with rockets usually is just the fact that they do more soft attack damage. It doesn't look like I can get rockets. I would have expected them to be in here, probably in this area. Yeah, I don't think I get rockets. The Italians didn't have them historically. Well, one thing that we can certainly do is start you guys pushing in. Oh no, this is Vichy now. Never mind. Um, in fact, because that is Vichy, I think I could probably even send you to this front, if the supply holds. Which right now it won't. Yeah, I need a lot more of these. A lot more. So I think what I'm even going to do is I'm just going to... No, we're not going to stop building submarines. We'll continue three lines going and we'll switch out four. That'll be fine. We have a focus. We can modernise the fleet, which allows us to refit stuff faster. But I think what we're going to do is go down submarine effort. So that we can get down to Mara Nostrum and the six dockyards that that will provide. Submarine warfare is the most exciting naval development since the invention of the torpedo boat. We would do well not to protect against... Sorry, we would do well to not just protect against submarines, but also use them against enemy shipping. Huzzah! Pazgrim! Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Very much appreciate that. Zahava, Classic Fence, Lady Aniko, Santiago de Pol Polon, Gunned Down, Huzzah. Dogs, Ernie Eaglebeak, HWP Neon, Quee Park, and Das Schutenheim. Congratulations on the gift of subs, courtesy of Pasgrim. Thank you very much for that. Huzzah! Mers al Kabir is the attack of the British on the naval. Uh, the British attack on the French Navy, yes. Huzzah! 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 Okay, so the submarines here are still doing their no doing a number on our opponents, which is great. 
Huzzah! I really don't like how few escorts we have now, though. That is more than a little bit concerning. You guys are still on the move, but thankfully we can actually go through Gibraltar now, which is good. And, Huzzah. wow, Pazgrim, second set of gifted subs. Thank you very much for that as well. Woozle, Sachil, uh, Sakil. Uh, Midgeman, Cycling Rhino, Kylock. Huzzah! Uh, Speedy W7, Hades, Leth, Mindstrip, and Dagists. Congratulations on the gifted subs courtesy of Pazgrim. Thank you for that. Subs for days! Huzzah! That is incredibly, incredibly generous of you. Thank you. Maharo coming in with a 35 month resubscription. Thank you very much for that as well. 35 great months. Thank you. Kaiser Soze Turk and Leftist Huzzah. Philip. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Good to have you joining us. Kaiser Soze. Oh, here come the British. And they are quite successfully Huzzah. pushing. Did they just get it? Oh no. Um, <laughs> so, despite the fact that we invested really Huzzah. heavily in our defences this time around, they are kicking our ass much harder than they did before. Huzzah! So the Royal Infantry Regiments, which are these Bren carriers, soft attack's about the same. They have significantly more hard attack. Uh, against my light tanks. I haven't seen yet how my Huzzah. infantry do, but they're just getting overrun left, right, and centre. Excavation three. And I think we should probably get... Huzzah! Uh, 1940. Factory bomb vulnerability. I don't think it's that useful. We could do fuel... Refining... No, let's go for better guns. Huzzah! We're already a year behind on that. Guns it is. Oh man, no supplies are getting through. This is very, very bad. Huzzah! Yeah, our convoy fleets have just been absolutely gutted. Huzzah! And our submarines aren't firing that much better. Have you guys arrived? You have. Good. Right. It's time to do some of our own damage, I think. Huzzah! Yeah, let's do this. Off you go. Good luck. Still losing submarines here. That's not good. Whoa, Pazgrim, even more. Blimey. Oscar W. Beamed. Red Huzzah. Octobear. Kickass. Canadian Pagan. Unit B. Hidden Unhider. Howard Stackhouse. Exitus. And Der Milan. Congratulations on the gifted subs. Courtesy of, courtesy of Pazgrim. This is incredible. Huzzah. Thank you so, so much for that, Pazgrim. Soon we'll have as many subs as we have subs. Actually, no, that's still going to take a while. We have a hundred submarines here. But hey, you can try. <laughs> subs for subs. It's like, um... In the war, you'd used to get towns and uh, villages banding together to buy, like, a spitfire. I think that needs to be supported. And we'll take out the brain carrier. Huzzah! Japan demands French Huzzah. Indochina, taking advantage of French weakness in light of the struggle in Europe. Japan has coerced the new government into surrendering control of their colony in Indochina. Japanese troops have already moved to occupy all major bases in the region, and experts fear the colony could be used as a launching point Huzzah. for future military. Expeditions. We're still sinking there. Convoys and things here. Huzzah. That was a heavy loss. Why are we losing so much? It's not an oil shortage or anything. Huzzah. 
Huzzah! Huzzah! I'm getting absolutely trounced by this larger fleet penalty. There's nine of us against three. Huzzah! I don't understand why it's this bad, though. I mean, it's shallow sea, so... Submarines Huzzah. are going to have a harder time of things. Coach Duke, thank you very much for the 25-month resubscription. Very much appreciate that. And like the moon, coming in with a 19-month. Thank you also. Really getting close to the two-year mark and beyond. Five more months to go. Huzzah. Apparently Pazgrim really wants to hear the huzzas today. Uh, Barbad Up, Ghost Shade, Judo Bean, Gideon, Limps Noodles, Sure Only Mikey, Surely Huzzah. Only Mikey, uh, Screw, Destroyer Inazuma, Harley, and Chromos. <laughs> Congratulations on the gifted subs courtesy of Pazgrim. This is ridiculous. Thank you so, so much for this. Huzzah. We, in fact, have a hype train going. Like, I only just saw the notification. And I think we probably just maxed out level 5 hype train. Did we? Hi, P. Hi, P. Huzzah. Level 4 complete. So, no, we haven't yet hit level 5. We have just finished level 4, though. And Grinarook, thank you very much for the 16-month resubscription. Very much appreciate that as well. Huzzah. Most casualties inflicted by swordfish. This is what I don't get, because I have complete... Oh, I had complete air superiority here. I still have more than they do. Huzzah! Uh, what I can do is move you guys down to here, and we'll really make the Straits of Malta into an air engagement zone. Huzzah! And these are also fighters. I think I'll make you into a 100-strong wing and send you in too. However, we could probably do with some air support Huzzah. down there in the south. In fact, we have the close air support from here. Which I think we want to put there. We have our fighters guarding here. And we have complete air superiority. Huzzah! And you, meanwhile, have lost another two divisions somehow. Do I have the movement speed guy? No. And I have a feeling that might be what I need. Huzzah. However, I believe it is time to do the die has been cast speech, which will give us 10% more war support, it will make the proletariat more supportive, and increases Huzzah. our political power gain by 10%. Interesting. Okay, the die has been cast. You have arrived in Pendor. Silver Knight gifting some subs as well today. Thank you. DM Opal. Hey, Opal. Uh, Tad House, Grumpy Tiger, Robert Siggy, Otter, Steeb, Lorito, The Vulcanator, Der Krieger, and Undead Blank. Congratulations on the gifted subs, courtesy of Silver Knight. Thank you very, very much for that. Panda Vision. Thank you for the bits. And Whitey is here. Thank you also very much for the bits. Very much appreciate that too. You guys miss September by a day. That's true. It is indeed the 1st of October now. Huzzah! 5% away from completing a level 5 hype train. So, so close. So, so close. The Kingdom of Romania cedes Best Arabia to the Soviet Union. The Kingdom of Romania has been forced to give Huzzah. in to the ultimatum from the Soviet Union. The territories of Best Arabia have been passed to Soviet control and the Romanian state has left its borders diminished. And I think it is time that you guys go and join Huzzah. this force, because clearly we just need more troops here now. Although I am a little bit concerned about supporting them and supplying them. Huzzah. Meanwhile, how is your crew doing? Iachino, 
is leveling up. Ah, we can get Concealment Expert, which I definitely want. And Smokescreen Expert, which I definitely want. Huzzah! You're gaining a little bit of Seawolf. How are you doing? You want to have Concealment Expert, and you also want to have Smokescreen, because you're the guy who runs away. And you. Huzzah! No traits still. Interesting. But most of my close range submarines are now dead, but that's fine. We're, we're, we're going to be using the Brins most heavily. Huzzah! And I think what I'm going to do is limit my reds to just there. The Soviet Union annexes Estonia. Following an ultimatum given by the Soviet Union, the Estonian government has agreed to allow Soviet troops to enter the country after Huzzah. the Soviet Union demanded a conclusion of their mutual assistance pact by setting up military bases in Estonia. And they got Bessarabia as well. So everyone except for Lithuania is buckling to them huzzah. now. And there we go. We hit our level 5 hype train. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Q-tippen. Q-tipson. Thank you very much for the five-month Prime resub. Very much appreciate that as well. Thank you. Huzzah. Take Malta or Cyprus and it'll technically be easier. That requires naval superiority though, which I definitely right now do not have. And they are still absolutely obliterating my ships. Despite the fact that I am certain I have air superiority here. Yep. Massively. It might just be that my bombers are quite old. I think I'm still in the process of researching the new ones. Yeah, and we also need to make those SM-79s. Do I have any of those in production? A couple. Let's get a couple more of those in production. Soviet Union annexes Latvia. So they're slowly but surely making their way across. Fuel supplies are still looking a bit desperate. Do we have anyone that we can buy that from? Soviets in Iran. I'm not sure I would trust getting them from Iran right now. Let's go ahead and just buy a bunch from the Soviets. To try and sort out our fuel situation. Because at the moment, the naval blockade seems to be pretty effective. These, I'm guessing, are my submarines. Yeah, brutalizing. Absolutely brutalizing the British. 103 convoys they just caught. That's a few. Following an ultimatum given by the Soviet Union, the Lithuanian government has uh, agreed to allow troops to enter the country. So Lithuania has also just fallen to the Soviets. We are losing some more submarines. And there we go, we completed a level 5 hype train. Absolutely crazy, thank you so so much guys. Oh, Tobruk's under attack. I would very much like if Tobruk did not fall. And I'm also going to say that you lot, please do take the train. Because you'll get there a lot quicker and I kind of need you. Leon Trotsky, once the top lieutenant and heir presumptive of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, died today in the Mexico City Hospital. He was attacked in his home by an axe, by an ice axe, by a Spanish national believed to be in the employee of the NKVD. After a failed power struggle with Joseph Stalin and his allies for control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Trotsky spent the 30s uh, in exile, living in Turkey, France and Norway, before finally settling in Mexico. He remained a constant critic of Stalin, the degenerated worker state of the Soviet Union. Romania has joined the Axis. Pissed off about the Soviets. So we're short a thousand artillery. Are we short any anti-tank? No, anti-tank we're fine on. We're also short on heavy weapons and support equipment. 